Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. I am Tosin Ali and here are our main headlines. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq issues a royal pardon to several inmates convicted in different cases on the occasion of the Prophet's birthday. Assigned by His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid bin Asad bin Tariq al Said presides the reading of the, Prophet's birth, uh, of the Prophet's biography on the occasion of the Prophet's birthday. And sections of the bridge linking the Crimea Peninsula to Russia are brought down with a truck explosion. Thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency Yowari Museveni, President of Uganda, on his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq, the Supreme Commander, issued a royal pardon to a number of inmates convicted in different cases. An official source at Royal Oman Police stated that 325 prisoners were honored with the royal pardon. 141 of them are foreign presidents, uh, prisoners. The royal pardon of His Majesty the Sultan coincides with the occasion of the Prophet's birthday for the year 1444 Hijri and in consideration of the prisoners' families. Assigned by His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs, and the special representative of His Majesty the Sultan presided the reading of the Prophet's biography on the occasion of the anniversary of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The reading of the Prophet's biography was attended by a number of their Highnesses, their Excellencies, the ministers, the leaders of the Sultan's armed forces, the Royal Oman Police, the heads of diplomatic missions of Islamic countries in the Sultanate of Oman, and a number of their Excellencies, the Under Secretaries. A blast on the strategic road and rail bridge linking Russia and the Crimea Peninsula today brought down sections of the road taking traffic in one direction, prompting gleeful messages from Ukrainian officials but no direct claim of responsibility. The Russian investigative committee said a truck was blown up on the automobile part of the Crimean bridge from the Taman Peninsula, which led to an ignition of seven fuel tanks of a train traveling toward the Crimean Peninsula. Two car roads of the bridge partially collapsed as a result. Putin has instructed the government to create a state commission to, in to investigate the incident. The United Nations nuclear watchdog said today that Ukraine's Saporozhia nuclear power plant, the biggest in Europe, has lost its last remaining external power source as a result of renewed shelling and is now relying on emergency diesel generation, generators. The International Atomic Energy Agency said that the plant link to a 750 kilovolt line was cut at around 1 a.m. today. All six reactors at the plant are shut down, but they still require electricity for cooling and other safety functions. Plant engineers have begun work to repair the damaged power line and the plant's generators, not all of which are currently being used, and each have sufficient fuel for at least 10 days. The UN General Assembly expressed solidarity with flood-battered Pakistan and called on the international community to increase aid and keep, the, and keep up political will to support the country's recovery long term. The Assembly passed a resolution that made all these points and also urged the UN to step up efforts to sensitize the international community to Pakistan's needs and mobilize effective, immediate and adequate international support and assistance. Record-breaking floods in the developing South Asian country have affected 33 million people and killed 1,700 or more since mid-June. 
Nearly 8 million people were displaced and hundreds of thousands are still living in tents and makeshift homes. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who saw some of the damage for himself during a visit last month, reminded the assembly of the losses. More than 2 million homes damaged or, de or destroyed, while the crops and livestock were ravaged. He said that a disaster could, the disaster could thrust more than 15 million people into poverty. A bus caught fire after hitting a truck on a highway in western India earlier today, killing 12 passengers and another 43 people with serious burns were taken to a hospital in Nashik, a city in Maharashtra state. Most, pa most passengers were sleeping when the, when the bus caught fire around 5 a.m. and the vehicle was completely burnt. Some people living near the highway reached the spot but couldn't help as the raging fire engulfed the vehicle. The rescue work started after the fire service and the police doused the blaze. Still to come in our news bulletin. The rising science star Sumeya bin Saeed Asiabia is moving to the final round in the Stars of Science program. Oman's production of electricity increased until the end of July 2022 by 1.4%, reaching 24,258 gigawatts per hour. Statics, statistics issued by the National Center for Statistics and Information indicated that the Governorate of Bafar recorded an increase in electricity production by 8.1%, reaching 2,460 gigawatts per hour up to the end of July 2022. Meanwhile, the governorates of al Zahira as well as South and North al Batana also recorded an increase in the total production of electricity by 6.1% to reach 15,722 gigawatts per hour. The weekly, indicator for, the weekly indicator for Muscat Stock Exchange kept the momentum for two straight weeks by increasing by 29 points. The indicator closed at 4,555 points. The stock exchange good performance was teamed with a sense of optimism due to good share performance from leading companies and publication of the results of the first half of 2022 that showed good performance from most companies. The indicator for the industry sector went up by 62 points, followed by the financial sector by 60 points. Meanwhile, the Sharia compliance sector moved up by two points and the services sector regressed by 10 points. Amani innovator Sumeya bin Saeed Asiabia secured a place in the final stage of the Stars of Science program for her scientific innovation in the environmental field, bioanalysis of microplastics in a new way of biological and nanotechnology. The last round of the competition will be held next Friday. Innovator Sumeya stressed to the Omani News Agency the importance of supporting and voting for her through the program's website, where the public vote represents 50%, while the remaining percentage will be for the jury. The voting will remain open for the public until the 13th of this month. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the, the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq issues a royal pardon to several inmates convicted in different cases on the occasion of the Prophet's birthday. Assigned by His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid As'ad bin Tariq al Said presides a reading of the Prophet's biography on the occasion of the Prophet's birthday.
and sections of the bridge linking the Crimea Peninsula to Russia are brought down with a truck explosion. With that, we come to the end of tonight's bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night and stay safe.